gonna be doing my eyes first of all, and we're gonna be concealing them and then powder them and then doing all that jazz. I need a brush. Just gonna see the brush. I'm gonna put, um, I'm not gonna prime at the minute. I am going to not prime. I'm going to put concealer on. Let's go, use your concealer. Hopefully you're good. Do I, should, I, should I do my brows? Actually, yeah, I'm gonna do my brows first. Um, just simple enough to do my brows. It's just very simple, it's just, do my brows first. So should I would have put um on a, you know, on a, um, on a thing to put them on with. Um, I should have put on my brow tattoo, but I didn't. So I'm gonna do my brows first. I'm just gonna put it on using the Brennifick brow just to do them first. I never normally do my brows first, but I feel like you know what? I want to know how if my brows end up better. Sometimes when I do my brows first, I'm like I don't want to because I know I'm gonna. Put that on you. Put that on you. Be shit. I do my brows. Hmm. I'm just gonna go through that with concealer. I'm gonna carve out my brow. It probably is a, not the good best brush for it, but what are you gonna do? I'm gonna take the Rachel Leary, the Goddess on the Go palette, and I'm gonna take the shade Bitch Please, Peach Please, Peach Please, and go in with that. Just for a first transition shade. Now these are pigmented and they blend out beautifully. If you don't know, I have done two videos on, on this palette as well. And I will link it. Well, I've done two videos on both the palettes. So I'm going to go for a cranberry eye. And red velvet is looking out to me. And 666 is looking out to me. I want like a ready cranberry look, which will be good. Yeah, I'm just going to put peach, please, just in the crease. Just to start off with the initial transition colour. I don't know if I'm gonna do a halo eye today. I might wanna do a halo eye. My hair has grown back a lot. This is like hair growth and it's just growing back and I'm really happy about that. I'm gonna do one eye on camera and the one eye off camera, so probably be a little bit easier to do it that way. So I've just got a bit peach pleach just in there. Now I'm gonna take 666 from the Ultimate Goddess palette and just shove that into the crease. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I have no idea, but I just, I don't know, I just want like a really nice, I've never done, I don't think I've done cranberry looks on my channel. I think I have, but I'm not quite sure. Okay, I'm going with this JH30 fluffy brush. I'm going with Sweet, the, oh, Sweet Velvet. And this, oh, holy crap, let's put that into, the inner corner. That's pretty. That is a fucking. That is pretty. It may look like you got red eye, but do you know what? I don't think I care. I don't think I care if I got red eye. So all the colours have blended up nicely and beautifully. So now I'm gonna do is do a cut crease. I'm gonna use the revolution. I'm definitely going to do a um definitely gonna get some new products to test out, so this is gonna be good. So I'm just gonna put it on there and then look up and then get the outline. That in. Right, so there we what go. What I'm gonna do is take next to beauty brush because I like these brushes. These brushes are good. I take glossy from the bigger one and put that into the middle. It's like got a pinky. We got glossy. Now I'm gonna get the shade boy bye and just blend it into the outer corner. Blend it as well. So you got a nice blend capability. Okay, then we're gonna do, I'm gonna do a wing with this because I feel like that is gonna look so much better. If I do a wing, I think it's just gonna bring out, I just think it's gonna be so much better. So I didn't put any tape on, which is my own bag, but I don't think this needs any tape because you want that rounded eye, do a halo eye. So I'm just gonna put some,
my wings are not perfect they never are do not judge yourself if your wings aren't perfect mine never are so this is what i got for the eye first of all just a nice cranberry halo eye like a red bear that you cranberry halo eye so i actually do like the look i think it looks really nice and pretty so what i'm going to do now is with the other eye off camera and then come back for the face and the other eye is done so there are my cranberry kind of eyes i like them i have put highlighter just okay i think now to do the face and i'm going to put a nyx primer all over the face as per usual i'm going to try a different primer I'm going to try probably another revolution primer, you know. I don't have many primers. I think I only have like three or four primers, but that's what I have. So my tan is fading, but it's still a little bit dear. I'm just going to put this one on. This is the Maybelline. Whatever it's called. I'm going to use a brush to apply this. And then you went with a beauty blender. So there we go. Look, it's a brush. Apply it. Hmm. It looks like applying my foundation to the bra. I never used to like apply my foundation for the brush, but I've just been like enjoying it. Then do is just go with the with my beauty blender, just you know blend it all out. This is a full coverage foundation now, and then use it to just use a little bit of foundation just to make sure it's all blended in nicely and it's smooth. I'm gonna go in with Cafe Cream Azure one, which is running low. I'm really wrong though. I mean, I haven't finished with the eyes, I just need to put my makeup on before I do the eyes. Because I want them to be a little bit smoky, so that's why we're doing concealer. I'm going to use a foundation just to blend it in. It's going to clean contour, which I do now. I'm just gonna cream contour like this, you know. I think I'm gonna put a little bit more on so it can literally like runs up the whole entire face, you know. <sighs> Do a little bit like that, just to this, I just uh, blend it in. Yeah, I think it's alright actually. Yeah! And just powder the and dry up my face, eyes. If you've never cream contoured, try it because you might actually like it. There we go. Now let's move on to the eyes. We're gonna go straight in with red velvet underneath the eye. Don't worry, red velvet straight underneath. And we are going to blend it out. The colour on there, as you can see, they are so nice. And there they are. So now I'm going to go off camera and do the lashes. And I'm going to be back for the rest and tie the face. So I've done the eyes, put my lash on. These are the So Su lashes in Carly, which I absolutely love. They are good though from Primark. Or if you want to have them, check out So Su lashes. But I believe she has a website. So let's contour. And I'm going to contour with Caramel Slice. Not too much today because I am pale. I am not my tan colour at the minute, so not too much, but just redefined this little piece of work that I've got on my face. A piece of contour. I'm going to take a bond now from 
if you want to know what I come for with my nose, I take the shade Bronze from the Ultimate Goddess palette. Is it the Ultimate? Yeah, the Ultimate Goddess. And take the shade Bronze and then do my nose with that. I learned this trick from Rachel Leary herself. No. I learned it from Rachel Leary from one of her tutorials. So let's blend it out with a beat blender. If you never try this trick, try it out because it actually does work. Actually does work, which I'm like, <gasps> it works. Contoured nose. Woohoo, that actually does work. Now I'm gonna use a shimmery bronzer, which I don't really do a shimmery bronzer, but since I've got these palettes and tried it, I love it. Golden air right here to do a shimmery bronzer. And trust me, it's worth it. It gives the illusion. Look at that. And just lightly dust it. Just lightly dust it. Listen on my head is thank you to the shimmery bronzer, which you should try out. Don't ever think that you don't need it. If you haven't tried it, you need it. Now I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do Caroline. I haven't done Caroline on its own, so let's do Caroline. It's a shimmery blush, but wow, it's beautiful. I smile and then bring it back. Just gonna take, get popping into my under my nose and go down. So I'm gonna put Ultimate Goddess onto onto my thing first. It's really beautiful. It's like really nice and beautiful. I get it popping on top and trust me, you you don't want to miss. <sighs> oh my god. I love this get a popish colour. And then I'm gonna set my face and before I do my lips, so let's set my face. And it even looks better. So what I'm gonna do is I might do a lip liner and then do a gloss over top because I feel like that is what I want. I'm gonna take a XCB lip pencil in the shade Marie. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna put a little bit of Maybelline Baddest No, that's not it. Maybelline Baddest Beige on top and then put a gloss up top, but this is shiny. You don't have to put, put a gloss on top because they're already shiny, but I'm gonna need from my partner's gloss to blush shine glossy. Mm hmm These are the lips. I love the colour of the lips. They're nudie gloss, but the eyes are the main feature, so these are the eyes. I love it, it's just a beautiful look. So that is my makeup for today. I hope that you like it. Sorry there wasn't a little bit of talking, but I just wanted to show you the makeup that I was doing, especially the eyes. It is a cranberry, purpley cranberry kind of eye colour with a smoky bottom. So you can over smoke the eye like I have just done. I've just over smoked it just a tad, but I think it looks a bit better over smoked it just looks so good so yeah this is the final look that i have come up with hopefully you do like this video please give this video a big thumbs up if you do like it please subscribe down below as well please press the notifications bell to be alerted every time one of my videos go live and i'll see you in my next video bye